Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I am doing a project using some stamps from Old New and a gorgeous Sue Wilson die and I think this is going to turn out really pretty I'm really excited to make this idea that's in my head so I'm hoping it's going to turn out how I think it will so let's get on with it and get crafting Okay, so to start with I've got one of my pre done six by six cards those of you who follow me know that I had a load made up by a paper mill and I had a layer made that was a quarter inch down so we've got six by six card and a five and three quarter by five and three quarter layer so I'm taking the first of two of those layers that I'm going to be using and I'm taking my Sue Wilson die here now with this die you've got the cutting part is not around the very outside edge of the die it, it allows you to size the piece of card to whatever size you want so you can cut it as close to those windows or as far away from the windows as you want so what I'm doing here is I know that I need to mask off one of those little windows so I took a piece of my masking tape there drew around the edge of it and then cut that out so it's just slightly bigger than the aperture itself that I'm trying to cover but not so big that it's going to intrude into the other apertures. I'm then taking advantage of my magnetic platform and I'm positioning the die so that it's in the right place on this mat. This is the mat we're going to be stamping on, this isn't the one that we're going to be die cutting on. So I'm lightly drawing the apertures I wanted to know the position of them so that it helps me position my stamping when I'm doing it so now that's drawn out I know where those apertures are as you can see it really is very light because you want to be able to erase that later so you don't want to leave any marks behind so first of all I'm going to stamp my sentiment now all my stamping is done using the Altenew ink so if you want to know the colours as always just go to the blog post link is in the paragraph below this video if you're on YouTube so you'll get to that and there's links on that blog post to all the products used so I've stamped that using the black um, Altenew ink once that's dried I've taken my little mask that we made and I'm covering up the sentiment once that's done I'm able to start sorting out stamping our floral arrangement now clearly I'm not going to stamp over my die but the pencil lines are so light it's actually quite hard to see them through the lid of the stamp platform that I'm using here so what I did was I put that down just to see that I would positioned my stamps in the right place now you may have noticed I haven't put the card right up against the edge of the stamp platform that's just because some of the stamps might need to go slightly over the edge so I just needed to give myself that room now when I've stamped this because there's the masking tape what happens is that there's like a very slight dip it's so minuscule but it's enough to make a difference with the stamping so just in that little area that's as it goes down from the masking onto the cardstock you just need to give a little extra push and then it will be absolutely fine and it will stamp that little area no problem for you so all I'm doing is slowly building up my floral display bit by bit taking the different elements and deciding where I need them and using those pencil lines as a guide as to where the apertures are so I know exactly where I'm going to be having my design hidden and where it will be seen okay so now we're going to take my second piece of card so this has been cut as well to five and three quarters by five and three quarters and I'm taking my die and I'm just die cutting into that so I just popped this job in while we we're waiting for our black stamping ink to dry because you don't want to start stamping your color until the black has dried so that just gave it five ten minutes just to dry off so this particular design is uh, deliberately meant to be off so the beauty of it is you really cannot get it wrong um, I actually even stamped the wrong flowers or the wrong leaves or something on some of it and it, it really didn't even show so it, it's basically you know you just stamp it now what you'll notice is like with the green there I shaded it I'll 
I went back on a couple of them. I did one layer and then I went back and I added a little bit of green, extra green, just to the tips of it or to the side, depending on what I took to my fancy to get dimension to it. Now with this pink, what I did was I took a second pink, again, just to add dimension to the flowers. You don't have to do that, but it is actually really easy to do because you literally, all you need to do is just not put ink on the entire flower or leaf on that second stamp um, you just you can see there I just did it on that very edge and even though that's quite a strong line it looks fine and it looks effective it just gives a bit of extra dimension to it and for something that's quite easy to do and again you can't really get it wrong um, I think it is worth having a go um, maybe practice it if you're a little bit unsure on a, on a separate piece of card and see how it works out so there with that I th just did some more leaves again and this one is I'm just showing you it's this one here because it took me a while to work out which one went over that one and I'm doing that in blue what you'll see in a bit is that I'm using colors for the first one of the few times that I actually had the papers and I took the papers and matched them to the stamping rather than stamping it and then thinking yeah oh, what papers have I got that will work with this which is usually how I craft so I was actually quite a good girl this time and I did find my papers first so as I say you're just going through it you're just adding the color um, I'm adding different depths and different colors of green um, just to, again even by just adding darker color green on some of the leaves even in one color on the but doing different colors on the leaves very subtly so so it's not massively different you'll see there's some that are very pale um, that's just because I put hardly any on and then I double stamped on the two of the others and then on some I did a darker green it just adds that dimension to it and it just looks really effective um, now this one up here that I just did you'll see that one half was the blue and one was yellow so we're just mixing it up really so now that's off to let that ink dry we're going to be working on our card so I'm taking some paper from a gorgeous um, paper pack I can't remember the name off the top of my head but it will be um, listed it's from uh, Kaiser Craft I ha think it's called Secret Garden and I have a feeling I'm afraid that because it, it's so old it's probably not in stock anymore so um, in fact I'm positive it's called Secret Garden so as you see I just cut that down very slightly again to the five and three quarters by five and three quarters and I wanted it to be like an insert that was flappy rather than stuck down completely I don't know I always think it just looks really elegant when they kind of move like that so I just put tape runner across the top I probably should have put that sentiment on first in case I did it wrong but you know whatever I think I probably wasn't thinking I was going to do it and then I decided to um, this is kind of crafting on the go really you sort of make decisions sometimes as you go along thinking yeah that would look better so this is the paper that was the sort of main one that I was using for my color base and it's the Kaiser craft sheets are slightly bigger than six by six so I had to cut that down so I just popped it on the front and then cut it down I didn't even try to get it sort of two sides set up I literally had to cut all four sides I just thought that was easier then it was full reveal time by pulling off that mask and obviously also needed to erase those pencil lines you'll notice at the bottom of that happy birthday I clearly hadn't got the mask quite deep enough and so I did have a little bit of stamping that was it wasn't within the aperture but it was very close to it so uh, when you sort of moved the card be um, because the aperture was slightly raised the aperture the die cut was slightly raised you could slightly see that uh, black stamping um, from the behind the aperture there it wasn't a big deal because it kind of still looked like part of the card but I think if I did it again I would make sure that that 
went down just a little bit further so all I did there was take some wet glue just so that I could make sure it was really nicely positioned and I stuck that down flat onto the front of the card in the meantime I had added some foam strips from hunky dory to the back of the die cut here and then I added a bit of that wet glue you guys know if you follow me a lot that I like to add wet glue to foam tape as well because central heating is a little monster with foam tapes or any foam squares usually and it will relatively quickly start to warp and and come away so you can just see there that tiny tiny bit of that dark black just showing but I think once it's finished you don't really notice it and it was fine but it just was something I knew that was there and so it kind of I saw it and it bugged me but um it was not as I say no big deal and but next time I definitely would say to you guys and for me for next time I would have taken that masking down just a little bit further so to finish it off I decided I wanted to add some gems now when doing gems in my opinion you want to work in odd numbers and I tend to like putting like two together reasonably close and then one off to the side and what or off on its own a little bit more I, I quite like that effect or single ones on their own so that's what I've done there and here you can see one I've added up onto the actual um, die cut itself and I just think that just adds a really nice little finish to it however I still thought we just need a little something so I added some stickles to the flowers now I have a lot of different colored stickles so I used like a blue on the blue flowers there um, pink on the pinky flowers uh, and yellow on yellow etc etc so I just went through them now on this first one I was sort of using the nozzle and I was thinking that would be okay but it was just too thick so I, I literally just started and I thought oh no this is going to be too thick so I had one little blob which I then used that tool just to spread out and it looked fine but from there on after I actually just used my finger I just sort of blobbed a bit of the stickles onto my finger and then spread it out with my thumb and then started dabbing it onto the um, flowers also you might notice on say like these pink ones I try to keep the stickles to where the darker color was so again it was sort of still adding even more dimension to it which I think looked really cool and just finished it off and it just wasn't it wasn't so much that it hid the lovely stamping that you'd done and I didn't do any on the leaves so I just think it finished it off really really nicely and that's it um it sort of seems like quite a quick card but it, it took a while um just because there was a lot of stamping and obviously with you guys I, I cut a lot of that down because you don't want to see you know that every single second of it because it would be really dull but um so it it takes time but it's not difficult especially with this because you can't really go wrong so do make sure you go on across to the blog post you'll see loads of photographs i'll put details of the colors used products used etc etc um and as i say there'll be lots of photos but most importantly of course you can subscribe to me over there onto my website which will give you an email every time I post a video obviously if you don't want to do that I would love it if you could either subscribe here on YouTube or give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the more that you tell YouTube that you like the videos that you're watching from me the more that they will promote them to other people so that means that I can get to do more videos for you it just helps me do that so please do give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed thank you so much and i will see you again soon bye for now bye